Hey guys, Reynolds here. Today we're going to be doing a medium or Iron Man tier kind of like setup. Medium, basically budget, not really budget, but not scythe. Okay. Accessible setup for farming the Colosseum. This is geared specifically for people who kind of just want to go in, in and out, leave with their corrupted quiver and have it ready for future grinds such as chambers or TOA or whatever you're ranging with your Bofa for. Now, this is a very supply friendly. You're just going to be fanging the all of the sets using SGS, and you're just going to use, be using some brews and restores. That's really it. Let's go ahead and just pot up. I actually don't need to use a ranging pot. We're going for a Heidi three shot combo with the blowpipe. If you have a defense reduction, such as Dragon Warhammer BGS, I recommend using that instead of the Dragon uh, Dagger. Fang and Light Bear are going to be the core. A nice five tick weapon that lets you plow through the ways. Um, but I do recommend having some combo food, so let's go ahead and have an angler fish. Um, you won't really need to brew that much anyway, so maybe you can even do two, depending how comfortable you are. Now, this setup does not have as much leniency, obviously, as like a Torva setup. You have, like what, high 200s? Yep, high 200s range of defense, so you can tank a little bit, but don't rely on it too heavy. Now I'm not gonna go through the basics. This is kind of assuming you already have killed it at least once, and you already kind of know the gist. So we're just gonna go over more advanced tips. I just did a little bit of control walking there to make it a little bit easy for myself. We're gonna make sure we SGS the ranger every single wave to make it keep uh, leaning on supplies. We're just going to do a lazy piety flicks like this. And a lot of the times on a more stressful flicks, we probably won't do any at all. Um, so myopia is the best one. We always take it to level three. Frailty probably don't want to take that to three. So easy choice. Started the wave late there, but it didn't matter. Gun range there. While we lure this guy closer, let's go ahead and stab the other guy. We can stab him again. In the early waves, when you're not really stressed about, about the reinforcement timer, make sure you're focusing more on, like, take efficiency. Not losing too many ticks, uh, waiting for things to wrap around with the setup. A fang is really, really strong, and you'll be able to be potted throughout the entire waves like this. Whereas with other setups, you're probably a little bit more supply uh, dense and more focused on flicking. This one is like kind of chill, kind of fast. Doesn't require mega rares. And Fang's a lot easier to get them both, I'll tell you that. So, squish your targets. If you have the extra spec to spare, I would SGS stuff like Jaguars and Shamans or any majors in general, like the Colossus nature. But in this case, we don't have enough spec uh, for next time around, so We'll hold. Relty is good. We'll take it to level two. My Manti, I wouldn't really recommend. Let me try to remember to use Piety. I could also uncharge the uh, Trident here, but I can be asked. We'll stab while we wait. This one stab is fine. This is going to take a while to kill, so let's SGS this guy. He's much squishier, much more likely to hit. Much more likely to get value out of the SGS, most importantly. In case you don't own a Light Bear, you could also use like a Berserker Ring. Perfectly fine. You just won't be able to milk specs as much. In case you do own like a Void Wake or a Claws, do bring it. It allows you to get through a lot more DPS checks in the late waves, makes things a lot less stressful. But in this case, Fang is our only DPS spec. You can still meet a decent amount of DPS checks with just the Fang, but definitely less consistent than owning a Scythe.
Looks like we won't be able to get 100% spec, so we'll just go ahead and kill this guy ourselves. Yep. Next wave. Solar Flare is good, and we'll most likely be taking this at 3. Hopefully not, but... We do want to prepare that as an option. Now, after we stab this guy, what we're going to do is wrap around this side so we're safe from the reinforcements. Quick and easy way to do that is just in between hits, just move that way. Run to the middle tile. Boom. Now you're safe from the reinforcements. Mighty's the first tick here. You run during the death here, you can actually run here. And the Jaguar won't be able to basically chase you. So you can have a free 1v1 like this until the solar flare comes, then you might be a little upset. Sure, we have our defender on. Um, out of these three, Myopi is the best one because Plasmy takes supply, Solar Flare 2 might make us lose DPS. We can hide from these guys and pray against the mage. Make sure we don't step out of line like that, that could be bad. Hey, Ranger is on the same tick here. If it was off tick, then we would have to fly out this way and then go back, which is a little inconvenient, of course. We'll do two stabs and then go on the major. It would have been even better if we didn't reveal the magic core, but you know we made a mistake flying out down here. I right, just a solar flare one, so we don't need to leave right away. We have the control here to manually off tick if needed. It's very tricky when there's a manticore there, of course, but in general, you do want to practice being able to fly out from here to about these tiles to manually off tick. You need to be able to handle that with a, you know, not so great DPS kind of setup. Got a swishy target in front of us. Most likely we'll have 100% spec. So let's go ahead and look a little FGS off this guy. Save the rest of the spec for next wave. Always make sure you have 50% to start next wave with this setup. You can see my regular runs actually don't bring SGS. I just use claws instead to help meet DPS thresholds. You can also consider that as you get cleaner. But a part of me that allows me to do that is whenever I do make basic mistakes in the waves, I have Blood Fairy to heal me up. You probably won't or can't be asked to get that kind of luxury. So if you're not going to be doing that, then I would probably recommend doing sticking with the SGS in your setup. Yep. Uh, Reentry, not ideal, especially with low DPS. So let's go ahead and go Myopia, open up the pool. Hopefully we can get something like Quartet or Doom 1. Uh, that would make our life a lot easy, but we're basically already done on these invils regardless. Yep, just a Manticore. Let's pre click the seer. And that's something you can do. Try to make sure you do that. We can tank one mage here, it's not too big of a deal.
Now we have to get ready to manually off tick. I don't want to be doing stuff like SGS right now, because that'll drastically lower my DPS. Now the melee's in front, so you don't even need to worry about that in this case, but remember we cannot walk out here. So if the solar flare comes, what am I going to do? I'm just going to not move. It's as simple as that, just not going to move. Got a squishy, squishy target in front of us, let's go ahead and hit. We should probably play melee, that would help. Now wave seven's free, so probably don't need to SGS here. We can lure this guy out uh, just by standing over there. I'm gonna run there and then instantly come back and pray mage. That'll offset him. Now you can fight the other two stack like this, or you can lure him out again. The only thing is learning him, learning him out will probably get you maged. Flies are looking very beautiful. Don't want to sit on spec too long, so let's go ahead and do a quick fang spec. Let's just wait, lure them back down. Some extra SGS laying around. Let's go ahead and use it. I'll take it. The base heal is not bad. We'll have another one to next start next wave. Wave 7 will have a major, remember, so make sure you pre mage to start. Quartet is good. Uh, that way we can probably take less points into Solar Flare later. Now in this case, we want to play a little bit more properly to lose less HP, so what we want to do is off tick. Like so. You see how this is a very big disadvantage of the Northwest Pillar, is that you have to off tick by this side and, run and wrap around. Which, whereas southwest, you just go around the corner, chilling, right? But spawns do typically, typically are a little bit easier on this side. It's not to say you can't get spoon spawns either way, but and combo foods definitely saved me here. Uh, I misstepped out here, got mage as you saw, but I was not arrogant. I ate. Let's prep the mat, uh, prep the Minotaur by getting a little closer to the tiles that we want to be on. We're skipping. The only reason I ran back there is because I didn't want to sit on the solar flare, but I ended up mistiming the mage anyway, fortunately. Now, the logical part of me says I should probably just brew here in preparation for next wave, but knowing how good SGS is, I think we're going to greet it. Uh, Doom 1 is pretty good as well. We should take it. Uh, that way we can also take less frailty points. So I'm just go ahead and do that. Doom 1 is definitely one of the best invos. 
Like if it's offered to you and you have other choices, definitely take it. Right melee so we don't get slapped. And we ran out again. Rolling. Now this is great. Two rangers, we won't reveal any manticores as well. Now you're not going to meet the DPS check for sure, so just stab a little bit. The reason you just want to stab a little bit in this case is because if you go too hard, the Minotaur is going to heal him anyway. Let's just go ahead and chill. I'm going to re-summon my Thrall so he stops griefing me. Alright, that was too much damage apparently. Oh well, it is what it is. We don't want to wrap around this side. It'll release the mage. That is definitely not a good idea. You can just take it slow in this run. And take out these these rangers one by one. I'm gonna have some extra spec. Squishy target right in front of us. Let's go ahead and heal off him. Remember to be in case this was like a regular two stack just like this, remember to be very mindful about just rushing and clicking him because I don't want to get exposed to this guy. You don't want to accidentally run under this guy by doing a sprint, let's say from here to here. That's a very common scenario like, that'll get you maged. Now a more efficient player would actually go right there, and if this is mage, you would actually off take it manually by stepping under, but not necessary here. Let's see if this is mage. If it's mage, we're chilling. I'm an off the back one in this case. You'll want to, as a baseline, go for the off tick route because if it's on tick, you just have to pray range for two ticks. Yeah, I was not bothering to dodge that. I would prefer not to SG SGS this guy, but after a mistake like that, I almost feel compelled to. Remember, don't feel compelled to take zero damage with Doom and to dodge Solar Flare every time. Sometimes, if it's mechanically just easier not to, you can do that. Make sure we get ready to leave quickly. Having good spawns is critical. Okay, we got a pretty good one. Um, Blast Mate 2 is the least punishing. Doesn't, you know, like screw us over in terms of DPS. And Doom might obviously kill us if we take too many of those. Double Manticore. Or one ranger. What do you think would be easier? I'm gonna go with the one ranger. Now let's go ahead and go for the humanity course. If I needed to off tick, remember I wouldn't click right away. I would do a walk click. Now this is pre-wave 10, so I'm not in a rush at all. Don't ever be scared of the Manticore plus Minotaur combo. You can flick this, it's actually not that bad. Wait one tick after the last melee, and then just hit. This makes it very generous on the timing. After you melees. Let's wrap around and bring him closer.
Let's pre-dodge the solar flare in advance. Now we're going to have starting a lot of rangers, two rangers. Last me three is best. Want to avoid that solar flare as much as you can. Left a little early, but didn't, didn't matter. That one ranger is going to spot us, so make sure we hold range. Hopefully I don't misclick out like I normally do. Now we'll have to DPS check this guy. Get ready to click these tiles to manually off tick the mage, engage the mages first. Mages first, let him attack, run out, mage. Done. And you see I'm just holding Piety, taking it nice and slow. Now switch ski target in front of us. Let's go ahead and SGS him. Read some darts back while we wait. Now, we can reveal the Manticores. Um, and either way we'll be fine because if this is a mage manticore, we can just walk one away and solve it. But if you want to mechanically make it easier, you can leave afterwards. So this manticore won't be able to see me if I go south. Efficiency wise, I'll just stay here. Um, but if you wanted to like have the simplest possible KC, you would just go south and pray range while this guy's undiscovered. And then you just take some easy 1v1s. But now we know this guy's mage, so we know we want to set up a certain way. In this case, we want to pray mage and then walk out. Pray range after. And he'll be attacking first after he charges up here. charging up. Now we'll just go ahead and set up a simple regular off tick. In this case, he's going to be the one attacking first. Ton of supplies left. Remember, mage start. Mm, Manti Mayhem definitely no. Solar Flare 2. Finally, it's time. Go ahead and take that. Range start. Stand on this line, and it'll bring the Manticore all the way back there. This guy's gonna see us a tick later. 
do one stab since we're waiting. The reason you need to know that is because if it's a ranger, in place of this manticore, you can pray ranged and then the mage later. Get ready to manually off tick, remember, just like last wave. Looks like we're gonna meet the DPS check anyway. He's gonna get stuck. We don't have red flags, we're chilling, we don't even need to dodge this, don't bother, don't make things more complicated. Got a nice squishy target in front of us, let's go ahead and SGS. And we know this is a range start. The problem with this shaman here, right, is that the shaman prevents his mage from moving down this way. Which means the mage and the manticore will see you first tick. Why is that a huge problem? Because we know this is a ranged manticore. We're forced to take range hits. So what we should do here is actually split the stack. And I believe you actually cannot lure the shaman down here, unfortunately. So without a ranged weapon, we can't take him out. So... Your solutions are to either start far away and actually fly in that second tick and line up these two mages together on that second tick, or you can simply split the stack here in this case since we don't have this manticore revealed. Now I'm going to opt for the we the easiest method, which is to split the stack. Uh, we're going to be far away so that this guy doesn't see us either, and then that's all we're going to do. Manticore won't even be able to spot us. It's because we're so far away. Now we'll just have to fight the two majors on the on their cells, and we're done. Make sure you right click, don't you dare die at the very end to just a one colossus. The major will come toward us as well. Do murder ourselves. Let's go ahead and SGS that back up. At the very end, when you got two manticores on a prayer, drop the ego, hold piety. If you mess up on one of these melees or ranges, guess what? You have piety on, and way less likely to take damage. Drop the ego. Now, I am experienced in both the middle and the corner methods at this point, so I don't really mind using either method. I'm going to leave both tiles of how to dodge in the description. I'm going to try pinging ahead of myself for every dodge I do at soul, so you kind of can visualize in my head and see it, how I like to do it. Now the best one here is going to be Frailty 2. Doom 10, well sorry, Doom 2 is going to be more bruised than we can even handle. Go ahead and kill this guy. I always do middle to diags. That was a spear, so we'll go ahead and move one back. The edges serve the exact same, just as the middle. There, I could have done diagonal corner. Doesn't really matter. This one I like simply because it's a little bit um away from the flares. After any pulls, you can do a free L like this. Dodges both spear one and spear two, and you don't need to memorize out spear two. We'll dodge it by going one back. Remember that works through all of these three tiles. These two work as well as that. He has to do a number one attack after parries and stuff like that. Pulls. You can do an L backwards. Period one. 
Who's late? Drop the ego. Here we can move here or here. Well, if not not anywhere nearby, so we're chilling. What the DS is for? You can also do a diag if you're just one away. Now spear two, so we can go here. To avoid solar flare. These are both three. Nice speed up. Both of these are free. Wasn't gonna bother there. Don't need to go center there. Edges work too. L out this way. Drop the ego. Now what I normally like to do there, but I didn't really have as much time, is I like to do the exact same timing. Oops. Get some arena space. Your two's next. We need to plan out for uh, shield two in case. Never mind. Seems like he's dead. All right. It's, that's a 29 minute kill uh, with no scythe. I hope that guys, that kind of helped you guys to figure out my thought process for most things. Probably should have fought for space a little bit earlier, because that could have been potentially pretty dangerous, but I guess I need more combo food as well. Actually, this is kind of OP. And there you go. That's a lot of quivers. A lot of shards, as usual. Best of luck.